I told people, some people say I'm good at marketing. I said, this man's better. Well, it depends on who you ask. My opinion. See, I think there you go. I think you're, the, you go. I think you're they, the marketer of 2017. One and, and now they make you one <laughs> and me one. Who's going to determine who's one? <laughs> We were talking earlier about marketing techniques. Yes. What's your philosophy that's made you stand out from the crowd? My philosophy that make me stand out for the crowd is I do it my way. I trust and believe the way I'm doing it and I'm just doing me. So it ain't no big deal about it. So when people throw hate at you, what's the proper response for somebody listening? Uh, the proper response for somebody listening is as long as they don't stop you from doing what you do, yeah. don't worry about it. What if they have haters? If they got, they're going to have haters. Anytime you're in a limelight, you're going to have 50% of people like you and 50% of don't. You're not going to please everybody. Yeah. And you're not going to have everybody hate you because some people are going to be like, you know what? I like what he's doing. I like what they're doing. But you're not going to please everybody. But if you get stuck on having haters be like, oh, man, I don't like that guy. As long as you ain't doing nothing bad and have no bad vices, you fine. As long as you ain't hurt nobody and doing nothing stupid, keep going forward. Yeah. For people listening, one of the questions I've had, the philosophy of how you've raised your, your sons. Right. How's it different from the crowd? It's different from the crowd on the way every parent is different. Some of them are the same. But if, if you believe in the way you parent in your kids, stick with them. Yeah. If it's good. How did you do it differently? I did it differently. It's, it's not even different. You know, it's, it's the same as a lot of people. It's just I'm in front of the camera and my boys are successful. It's a lot of other kids that are successful in some other things. Right. And their parents get behind them. But the fact that my boys are all super talented, yeah. that means I spent a lot of time with them. Yeah. And I got behind a passion that they love. Yeah. And when you do that, you're going to come out pretty successful. I think the unique thing is sometimes fathers have pushed their kids like the Jackson 5 but the kids right. don't love the father back but I can tell your sons still have the connection to you, you they still have a connection because I made this stuff it's not even about being overbearing it's about having fun yeah. if you make this fun to your kids yeah from from day one I ain't saying wait till they get to making some money and say oh now it's fun yeah it's not even about the money it's about my boys having a passion this is what I say the key to life is, is, is doing something that you love to do and you happen to get paid for, you want it. Because yeah. after you done made so much money and you have bought everything you wanted, what's left? Right. If you don't have a passion for nothing, you're just sitting with a lot of money, then guess what? Now you got some bad vices to say, you know what, I need something to get me over this high. I need to drink, I need to smoke, I need to do something to give me a buzz and say, oh, this is it. Yeah. Boys ain't like that. My boys is on one goal, to be the best players in the world. So your son, what do you tell him now? He's playing for the Lakers. The yeah. Lakers are doing better than they've done in years. The Lakers what do you losing. tell? The Lakers okay. are losing right now. They Ooh. suck right now. Yeah. And like I said, it's a very fixable uh, problem. Here's the thing, man. What's the fix? The fix is let my boy play. He's a special player. He's always been a winner. Yeah. And you'll lose him out and keep getting all these losses. But he can't win a game if he's just sitting on the bench. And then they bring him in with five or six minutes left in the fourth quarter talking about that save us. If you look at how many games they done played already this year, look how many games Lonzo has started the fourth quarter and ended the fourth quarter. Now, we've seen this story before last year. They didn't get enough wins. There's a reason we're doing the same damn thing over and over. Let's get a guy who everybody, all these tickets and all these people here, they see it here to see one guy. And I say who they're here to see. Because they was here last year and they weren't coming like this. You bring my son to the table and guess what? I ain't about that losing. And I ain't scared to tell people if you're dribbling too much, pass the ball. If there's people in front of you, pass the ball. It's very easy to sub. Not sub blindly. This is when you sub. You're tired, sub. You're not doing your job, sub. That's how easy it is. It's not going in there with a preconcerved notion like I'm going to let this guy play 10 minutes, 5 minutes I'm going to bring him in at the 3 minute mark I'm gonna, you, you don't even tell the floor of the game yeah. every game is different so if you want to get a guy in there for 4 or 5 minutes guess what, maybe he don't play this game I get up by 20 and you play 10 minutes the next game yeah. so don't get stuck on here's what everybody's saying the, 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 the kids are young Okay, I want the young kids you give me a bunch of young pros, my record would be better than this on the fact that I'm 50 something years old and I know the game. But if you got some guy 30, you maybe not experienced enough. Maybe stop talking about the players are so young, and maybe it's the coaching experience is young. Yeah, nobody don't want to say that, but I say it because I'm 50 years old and I know the game. You give me those guys, and I guarantee you they'll be in a much better position than this is because you're not playing the guys, you're not getting the best out of a lot of people. It's just like you get you a Rolls Royce, man, and you go have a 10 cent dude tune it up. It's going to look like a beautiful car. The Lakers are a beautiful franchise. 
it just, if you don't have the right spark plugs in that thing, this is a waste. You just got a bunch of young kids running loose. You don't want to get the best out of none of them. Because yeah. this system right here is not getting the best out of Zoe. He can make every pass on the court. He can make everybody effective. But when he takes off and you want to play fast, if I look back and I play, let's say I got my boy playing a game. If I got four people behind him, four people behind him, all four of y'all coming out because you ain't running fast enough. Mm -hmm. Why are you jogging behind him? Sure. Talking about we get ready to set up a play. Sprint to the end so we can throw the ball ahead. If we want to play fast, we want to play slow, walk up, man. They got 12 different people taking the ball out. I only need one guy taking the ball out. And you know which one that is? Whoever the slowest one on the team take the goddamn ball out. But you're not going fast. It's very simple. And now I don't have these four guys, every time they score the bucket, I don't have who going to take it out this time. Who going to take it out next time? I can fix all this stuff, man. Just play around my boy. He's been successful all his life. Now to get here, and the thing they want to say is, oh, he's a rookie. Oh, we, we different up here. This is the NBA. It's freaking basketball. Yeah. It's not that hard. Yeah. Sometimes less coaching is the best coach. You think they're overthinking it? They over just let them play. They're overthinking it. It's not even about just letting them play. Sometimes you got to tell guys that you don't want to tell, hey, stop all that goddamn dribbling and trying to do your move. I know that you made four buckets in a row, but it's going to play on in the game. When you're trying to go one on one, you're going to lose. And if you got three guys on the court that are scorers, right. they're going to go one on one and you're going to lose because there's no more team flow. And I'll tell you what, you got two guys playing against each other. You got Brandon playing against, uh, what's that other boy named Number Zero? Uh, uh, Kuzma. Yeah, Kuzma. Kuzma. Because they both trying to get their points up. Yeah. They both trying to get their points up. Win or lose. The last question that I have for you. Most definitely. Do you have one? Yes. If you had to leave a one paragraph for the world of advice that you've learned in life, Who's that? what's that one paragraph say? The one paragraph I would say is whatever you do, you gotta suffer the consequences, whether it be good or bad. But do you? Do you? If it's if it's if it's if you're if you're a, a killer or a mason, don't try to be when you get caught, be soft now. If you're gonna be true to yourself, be true to yourself, whatever you do, and suffer the consequences. Some of them are good, some of them are bad. But to be true to yourself. Tell him about that big ball of bread. And he's a good big friend. Big ball of bread with the social media hand guy right here. <laughs> he do his thing.